morning or afternoon, whatever it is, Justin here from Brickwright again. This is what we're doing. We're doing the steps. So we show them that. And we got the uh, we got Rocky up, the Rock Warning. So if you want to speak to Rock Warning, this is a really good product. If you get that in there, look. Speak louder, just. Sorry, if you get that in there, that's the contact details. Yeah. So we said we'd review this, didn't we? Yeah. So, so far, it's still a little bit awkward to, to get it up into place, isn't it? So, but it's doing a good job for us. It's where a lot of brickies and uh, builders have been at home and they haven't been able to uh, to do a bit work. We've been here working undercover as best we can in this, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So, I give it, I give it, I give it a 10 out of 10 in terms of that it works and I give it an 8 out of 10 in terms of it as this is assembly because you do have to really really push this up and it's quite strenuous isn't it doing it well it's huge isn't it it's, it's a, a big it's, it's, a big it's the big one isn't it but then you'd rather it sturdy than anything else because you don't want it to uh, fall apart do you and it is sturdy so I suppose in that respect it's good so all rounds thumbs up it's good Brad isn't it yeah it's a good bite so that's that so we're doing these steps so before we go with the V steps, just a couple of bits and pieces of what you need to do it. So we've got a paddle there, look, now that paddle, that mixes up the Mapai rapid set for the adhesive to stick the slabs on the risers and the treads. So we've got that. Um, we've got the radio in the corner, which is our most important kit, Brad, isn't it? Can't, can't do a day so without that. there. Uh, we've got the disc cutter. Now this blade is called a... Uh, an ECD 115. So this is again. This has been recommended by a, a, a good friend of ours, um, John Roberts from Green Top Landscapes. So John recommended this blade for me. And what, what we're using it for is well, we come to that now. So go through the tools again first. We've got the ruby on the go here now. Um, so this is we're using this to cut all the slabs really meticulously. So it, it does a good job. So this is fairly new. So this. This is a 10 out of 10, Brad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a beast. For the Ruby. I, I mean, love it's it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a two horsepower, so it does take a little bit of time to cut through the slab. But overall, again, I'd, I'd give it a 10. What would you say? 10, easy. Really good bit of kit, that. So, and then what we got as well is we've got these suction cups. Now, they just stick, use these to stick to the slab to be able to put them into place rather than jamming your fingers and getting adhesive all over the slab. So, so that's the tools you're going to need. And then we just got basic trowels then, like a tiling trowel and stuff like this. Gorilla tubs to mix the, the map eye up and, the, and a gauging trowel. So that's that. Job done. So, the steps then. If you come a bit closer. So these steps. So what we found with the steps was, when we first measured all the steps out, um, the top riser is, well all the risers in height are different to each other. A lot of the, a lot of the treads were tilting back, so rather than the water coming off the water was actually going back into the steps and holding we've had to sort that out um, the steps weren't square um, the distance between that tread there say for example I was 380 down there we had it like 350 360 didn't we mm -hmm. so we've had to compensate for that so we've had a bit of a we've had a bit of a mare on this haven't we and then the, the steps were also built like that in level so we now have had to do that so they were like that and we've had to do that so if you show on this side, what we've got is these risers stick up higher now than the actual treads because the level, we've brought the level up. So we've had to use a lot more adhesive, but I think the effort and the overall persistence we've had with it, and uh, we've been pulling our hair out a little bit. It's going to look nice. It is going to look, look really nice. nice. No, no doubt, because we spent the time on it. We've pulled our hair out a little bit with it. It's been soaking wet, freezing cold. But um, I think it's coming along, it's looking really, really nice. The client's really over the moon with it. We're happy with it. So it's worth it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's always worth spending our extra detail and our extra time to get something to look uh, to look like this does. But cutting it, we've had to, on the, on the, on the risers, you had to do two cuts, didn't you, Brad? Or three, wasn't it? Um, I think it was four for the middle two. Yeah, four for the middle to two. Take, so take four the curve cuts out. the one slab. And then we've had to cut the slab on the length and we've had to cut the slab um, on, on the width as, as well because uh, these are nine hundreds, and we've had to reduce the size down to like eight tens. Yeah. So every single slab is either had to be cut three times, four times, or, or twice minimum on every single one to do that. So what we'll do now is show you how we're going to lay one. So first and foremost, what we've got on these on all these slabs is a is a corner like this. It doesn't come to a right angle on the corner; it comes to a curve. 
So when you're cutting the one side of this slab, you come to a, a straight right angle. So we've got to put the corner on it ourselves. So the good thing is, is these slabs uh, full bodied, which we've been through that. They mean, it means that if you cut the porcelain, it's the same color all the way through the slab. So you've got the same color running through. So these are white, so the same color running all the way through. If these were cheap porcelain, and you had like a black inside and a white on the outside, you wouldn't be able to do this on the, on the corners. You wouldn't be able to have done this, would we? Mm. It would been another nightmare we've had to have faced. So I'll show you how to cut the corner on one now, and then we're going to prime the, or put the adhesive on the back, and then we're going to lay it in there and show you the setup of how we're going to lay it, just to show you one. So bear with me. Oh, these are steamed up a bit. Right. So here we go. So, safety, headphones on. So, Brad's mount this out now. So, that's it there, Brad, yeah? Yeah. So, this, absolutely brilliant. This blade, this blade cuts on the front and it cuts the grinds on the side. See the little holes on the side, the little circles? That actually does the grinding on the side. So, I'll show you this. This blade, brilliant. Have a look at that now. You can see by the time we get the water on it, so it's the same as that. If you have a look at that and then you go into that corner there, you can see we've managed to get that both the same mm. by using that grinder. So, thank you, John. Great recommendation for that again. So, we've done that now, so they're both curves, it's all cut. And we've, we've cut these, haven't we? We've put them down dry before, Brad, haven't we? Yeah. So we know they all fit. So this is what we've been doing. We've got this map eye. So this map eye, we've been through the map eye before. It's a rapid set map eye tile adhesive. You can see the previous videos for this. So we put the map eye in there now, before the video was made. So that's already in. So what we do, just back butter the slab like this and this is actually setting while we've been making the video feel it don't call it rapid set for nothing do they so it's important you uh, back butter your slab and it, what that will do then will give the adhesion between what you've already put down on the floor or where you're going to lay it on, onto this so the adhesive stick into the adhesive which makes it stick and gives it a better chance to stay stuck if you do this so just move it all around there we go get that all in there try and cover it as much as you can and then finally then, what we'll do is we'll get the other trowel, which is there. Draw lines on you, because you like it with lines on, Brad, don't you? <laughs> yeah. He told me off, he don't like it the way he likes it with lines on. I can put, I can put my name on it now. <laughs> Partner in crime is doing the camera, so I'm going to do all this myself now. Thank God. About time we've done something anyway. I've been doing it all myself all day anyway. Yeah. See every cut on here? Who've done them just? Me, I've done it all. Yeah, you've done every cut, didn't you? Man eating pasties and cabbage cream eggs, haven't you, Brad? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I wish. about cabbage cream eggs. <laughs> right, so there we go. Pick this up now, please, Ruby. Gently, so you don't want to chip it. In she goes. You can take these off now. 
So what we've done, what we found out is um, we've put this string line on the outside, haven't we? That keeps all the front in line. Pull that nice and tight. And then we've got a line then. I don't know if you can see this on the back. The line dictates level and the line also dictates where we're going to be bumping our slabs to for a, for a line for the same joint at the back as well. So we found that that worked a lot better, Brad, didn't it? Yeah. Because I'm out of breath. <laughs> I can don't do no work. I can see. So say that was 400 mil there and we had 360 mil down there. If you put a line on the inside right the way down and then you measure off your line from there to here, on each slab you're getting exactly the same slab and uh, um, same width, the exact same width, and then you're keeping the exact same joint on the back of it, so there's no none of this. So we found that worked a lot better, didn't we? Yeah. So where's the knocky? Knocky, knocky. It's called a mallet, Justin. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we just hit that down there. Shy, get it down to where it's got to go. Right, there we are. And then underneath, then we just lastly, we just very important keep this work area clean. You don't want this map like to go on your slabs because you'll never get it off. Do that under there, clean that under there. And there we go, so there's, your, there's one, we've done that all the way through on every single one now. So we'll carry on. If you give them a good view of it, Brad, yeah. what we're doing. It comes with a free bottle of Coke as well. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. So you can see that now, so we've got these sides to do. I think what we're going to do with the sides, if we use the the, um, the map eye on the side, it's so thick the sides, so what we're going to revert back to, we're going to slurry the concrete, and then we're going to slurry the back of the slab and we're going to put like a three and one sharp sand mixing of, of sand and cement aren't we yeah and do that in sand and cement because it's a lot thicker the joint There's no point in using uh tyler jeans because we've used 10 bags on this haven't we yeah we really you know we haven't skimped on it we've used 10 bags on it so there we are it's we've taken a while it's taken ages and ages and ages but we're getting there so thumbs up and then um lastly he's going to kill me for this but he's on a diet <laughs> he's oh, on the diet. He has to, ass. didn't he? So we always give you a food update with it with Brad. So he's <laughs> So you've had blueberries all week, haven't you? Yeah. Then you had the the, the low fat yogurts. Which I got again today. Yeah, then you had blueberries again and you've been eating really healthy all week, so you've done really, really well, haven't you? Thanks, yes. What did you do on the way home night before last, Brad? Where did you go and what did you do? <laughs> Bought some cream eggs. <laughs> How many cream eggs did you buy? <laughs> Mm, no comment. You bought ten cream eggs, <laughs> and how many did you eat before you got home in the car? Six. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the other four last night. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. No, I didn't tell him that. So he's doing really well. We've got to give him a treat now and again. So uh, mm. you, you, look at you. You smell like a cabbage cream egg at the moment, Brad. Mm. Don't you? Oozing cream egg. I wish I had another one. <laughs> Maybe get some on the way home. Mm. Anyway, any comments? Uh, leave them below and. Uh, we got a lot of people looking at the videos, but uh, people are not clicking that subscribe button, and that's fine. So if you could click it, it would uh, keep us happy, and we'll, we'll carry on with this. Now we'll show you the end result. We've got to joint it, and we'll point it, and grout it, and all that stuff. We'll show you the end, and uh, see you soon. Keep smiling in the rain. Ta-da!